Uh, welcome to Best Car Fixes. This is Muhammad Harun Idris. Please subscribe, share, and like. We have a code P16 Ears in Echo 3 battery sensor on Honda's car. So let's go together and see what is the issue and what is the fixes. Here is a car, and this sensor here, they call it battery sensor. And the battery sensor uh, job is to, uh, you know, like uh, stabilize or, you know, like, uh, it's just like a cutout of the current. It will monitor the battery, uh, battery state of charge. If the battery state of charge is okay, or it's go, it doesn't allow it to go high or low, or if you put load on the car, it will adjust it so that it will not overcharge. Also, it will monitor if the alternator is charging or not. The battery monitor sensor is something look like this. It's mounted here, you see? So the cable of the ground for the car is go into the sensor. This is the sensor, let me show you here. This is the sensor itself. And you're gonna put the ground, engine ground, through the battery sensor, and it has two wires. You see, it has two wires. The wide wire have a voltage that is coming from this fuse number 24. The fuse number 24 is that the fuse for the horn. The first thing you need to do is, as soon as you have a problem like this, you need to go and put the horn. If you check the horn, that means the fuse is okay. Or if the fuse is blown, that means you're gonna, you're gonna have a charging issue or uh, even if you charge, you're gonna have a charge monitor. Why? Because this sensor here, this white wire, this uh, blue wire, it leave this and it come to the engine computer, which is located here. Also this one, leaving the alternator, get connect with that blue wire or light green wire and they come to the engine computer based on the charging system it will be like less the charging system will be less than the battery charging okay if the alternator is charging 14 you're going to see this one is going to move like 12 and then from there it will sense the information and the computer will send signal to the alternator to add the charging based on the load that in the car whether to go lower or to go up okay now uh, here this is let me show you Okay, I'm gonna put the tester here. And you see here, I have 12 volt. 12 volt here. And if you check this wide wire, it's supposed to be 12 also, battery volt, which is coming from the horn. Now, this one here is supposed to be 10, 11, or nine. You see here, this one, you see here, 10, 11, or nine. If the charging system like 12, this is supposed to be 10. If it's 14.5, it's gonna be like 12 if the car is running. If you don't have nothing like this here, that means there is something wrong. You have to review it and fix it. Now, I'm going to start this car. And one of the code that you get it is 13, I mean, P16 E as in Echo 3. Now I'm going to show you what code also I'm getting when I was doing it here, you see here. In the bottom, it say P16E3, engine computer, FI battery sensor line communication error. It could be the line get disturbed by ABS because in here, it has ABS problem. You see here, electric EPS, you say that we have EPS court, FCAN, and modulator control unit and VS malfunction. And when we go up in the ABS, also it's a ABS malfunction. Maybe the ABS also have a problem that pulling down the signal, we don't know. And also it's a loss communication, the vehicle dynamic uh, module. So for this one here, as I told you, here is the diagram. You see this, this is 20, fuse number 24. It's going to power distributor system that is going to the horn. And if you go here, it will go to the battery sensor, which is a wide one. This is the battery. This is the battery sensor. And from the battery sensor, one wire is going right away to the alternator and to the engine computer. So the wire is going to the engine computer and also to the alternator and to the sensor. The fuse number 24, if it's not good, you will have a problem also for charging or a message. On other car, also you can check uh, they have a different one on uh, uh, 
and Honda, uh, like 2015, 14, they have a sensor that is located in a different place. Uh, fuse is different, constructed is different construct construction. Just try to uh, follow that one and be sure um, to get it the right way. Here is a sensor, as you see. You tight it here, and this is a ground cable, and this is a battery line that going back to the battery. Okay, this is a part number that I did. I put that sensor, I clear it. I, when I drove it, it come back again. Now I'm gonna show you the test, what you need to do for a good working one. I'm gonna start the car and we go back to show you. Okay. You see here, I have, on the positive side, I have 14.39. Look here, this is one line, full power. I have 14.36, but the LIN number, line number, you see I have 12. So the higher the battery goes, it will also follow. If the battery goes, if you have any problem, there is no communication, you can say, okay, is it cut? or there is a problem, but still now everything looks good. The same amount of voltage, you should get it here by the alternator. Look, look this one, this one here is a battery, battery, battery system here. It's supposed to have voltage, charging voltage. If you don't have it, also you can look at it. But the wire that is here, the other one here, this is the same wire that you can get a reading from here. If you don't get reading there, you can say, okay, there is a problem. You see, we have a reading. So for now, I don't have no, I don't have no any quotes here. I don't have no quotes. I'm gonna push the brake. If any quote come, I will check it out, but I don't see no quotes. I'm gonna drive it tomorrow and look for it. If there is a quote, we know that for sure there is a problem that we have to look at it. And if it's intermittent, it could be wiring, it could be anything, but for now, this is the information of the battery center. How does it work? What value you need to see on it? If you don't see it, you have to look for. If it's, if you don't have those value and no communi no communication with it, of the, the wires are supposed to go to the alternator, go to the engine computer. If it's no good, you have to fix it and then do a test. Right now, I don't have anything. I may have to put the car on the on the road, drive test it, and see if it's gonna come or not. We have other job that we have to work on it. We're gonna check it later on. Um, the car was dying. We fixed that problem uh, for the code that we have it, which we have to follow through programming the engine computer. We're gonna talk about it later. Thank you very much.